Welcome to the letter A in the A to Z of real-time marketing. Okay, so for this one, we're going to look at A-B testing. Now, A-B testing has existed in the outbound marketing, which is what you have known Dynamics 365 Marketing as. So this A-B testing that we're looking at is slightly different, and this is um, not A-B testing within the email itself, but A-B testing for the actual um, customer journey. So taking somebody through a journey and then having different channels or different paths that somebody could go down. And the purpose for this is really kind of to test out different scenarios. So a lot of stuff with marketing is kind of like, think about something you want to test, test it out, see what the results were, rinse and repeat and change something different next time and then analyze and then change something different and so on. So it would be a way to test out two different types of emails. So maybe the imagery is going to be different or the colors that you use or the verbiage, the actual wording that you use within the email. It's those little things that you can tweak and then look at and see, okay, well, which one did better based on openings or clicks, that type of thing. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we can use the AB marketing within real-time marketing. All right, so if we go ahead and actually just jump into the real-time marketing area within the emails. So I've got two different emails that I've created. First one, option A, we've got a, a specific image at the top. I've got a red button that somebody's going to be able to press to go ahead and actually um, click to get to a survey to fill out some uh, feedback based on the c closure of a case within Dynamics 365. If we go back into our emails, we've then got option B, Option B is going to use a slightly different image. This has got a fun and funky little frog. We've got a green button instead. It says howdy instead of hi. So we've played around a little bit in terms of very different styles for each of the emails. So we've got our two emails, they're ready to go. Then what we've got is a journey that we're going to go ahead and create. So similar to customer journeys in the way in which you've been doing it now, but this is basically a journey that is going to be triggered based on a specific event. So something that happens, and we'll look at this in one of the other videos, but our trigger event is going to be when a case has been closed, we're going to send them a survey. So we're using a trigger for this. So that is the starting point of our journey, event trigger. Then what we're going to do, very simple, we are going to add an A-B test and we are going to say, how are we going to do this test? So we could test, which is what we're doing based on two different emails. You could also do a test with an email compared with a text or text compared with push notification, whatever that might be. So we've set the A-B test and we've picked each of the emails that we want to use. We can see what version A is going to use and what version B is going to use as well. We can rename the A-B test if we want to. You might want to put different A-B tests throughout the entire journey. You can use multiple ones. And then we can set whether we want it to be 50-50, 25-75, whatever that might be. We can set up what we want the audience sort of um, separation to be in terms of who should receive what. And also what's the winning metric? Is it going to be based on open rate? Is it going to be based on click-through rate? Um, or it might be a goal for your journey, which again, we'll look at in another video. And then when does the test end? Does it end automatically? Is it ending by a specific date and time? So how long are we actually going to test this for? Might be just a two week test. It might be that we basically just keep on going for a while. And then also what's the default version that's going to be sent out? So by default, we'll go with version A, but then we're going to be doing this one is 50-50. So we're publishing the journey, which is essentially the equivalent of go live with the um, with the sort of the old school um, journey that we have been using in Dynamics 365 marketing. So we're basically publishing this, this out and then once it's published, that's it, it's live. So now anything that happens in terms of a case being closed, our trigger is that we're going to then send an email out. Now, as soon as this starts to happen, we then see how many contacts are actually in the flow of this journey. So we can see at the minute that we have four in flow. And then what we can see is that we've got the AB test and we can see that version A has one person next to it. Version B has one person next to it as well. 
So the reason why it's got four at the top is we're basically getting them in because the case has been closed and that's triggered the journey. And then as we go through, we'll be end up seeing that those other two will end up going down either version A or version B. So it's you might have to refresh a few times if you're doing a test and want to sort of see it real time. But in this case, here's one of the emails that I've received. So we can see I've received the version B with the funky frog. And then we've got the green button that we can click on. And that green button is going to be our link to a survey in customer voice. So we've passed through from the trigger of the case being closed and then we've got to version B in our AB testing. Someone else will end up with version A of the email and so on until we kind of um, reach the end of what our AB test is. We've got different links at the bottom so if we're doing uh, if we're doing something to test and see which one's the winner in the end, which is the point of this, then if we've done it based on links clicked, then obviously the more links that are clicked, the better. So now we can see it's updated and we've got three that have gone through version B so far. And then what we can do is we can actually go ahead and then trigger this again and we can actually close a case and we can walk through and actually see what happens where again it kind of add somebody into the flow of that journey. So if we look at the sort of test or the audience split there at the bottom, we can then see total sends version A who went through that path, version B who went through that path. So we're able to automatically start seeing some of these sort of um, analytics or results of the AB test that we're doing by looking at that side panel. So we've got a case here in Dynamics 365. My event trigger is the closure of a case. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add my resolution and then go ahead and close it. So this is videos sped up a little bit in terms of it's not going to be this quick, but if we go back into the, to our journey um, and we just refresh a couple of times, what we'll end up seeing, again, it's that total inflow number. See, it's gone from four to five. So that's them starting through the top of the funnel and then ending up going down and ending up path, path, pathing, passing through either version A or version B. So now we can see that version A has increased by two. So we know that that, that next person has gone down through the AB test and version A is what they've ended up being sent. So that's uh, again like i said the a b tests is designed for you to be able to actually look at the analytics of it and see how things are doing in terms of the click-through rate or the open rate based on what it is that we're actually checking for so a b tests hopefully this is something that you will want to use again a b tests exist currently but they exist within the actual emails themselves. This is the A-B test through, through the journey. So you can basically have one journey, but pass people through into those, those different things rather than having to set it up at the email level. So what do you think? Is this something that you feel that you'll start using? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.